With Wolfram, the natural language uh, is easier to to bridge that gap between programming language and the natural way of thinking. And so it allowed me to um, kind of combine my way of thinking into how a computer would think. I'm Colleen Rosales. I'm the Strategic Partnerships Director at OpenAQ. Uh, we are a nonprofit aimed to fight air inequality by uh, open data. And I'm also a postdoctoral researcher at the Air Quality Research Center at the University of California in Davis. For me, uh, the Wolfram language is a way of thinking, um, and I learned programming through uh, Wolfram, and it has allowed me to visualize data, it has allowed me to organize this uh, disparate sources of data. So for example, in my previous lab, we have different sources of data that come at different frequencies. For example, some are per second, some are per minute, and some come from instruments that are made within the lab, some are manufactured um, by bigger labs, but you know, the data that comes to us come in different forms. And so I needed a tool to have these data aligned and be able to be visualized and look uh, for me to be able to look at the trends um, that these data have and for me to be able to do some modeling with them and whatnot. And so I think that is where Wolfram uh, and the Wolfram language has really helped me, um, you know, organize this data, visualize, and also do some modeling with this data. So in my PhD, um, we did uh, instrumentation. Um, we built our own instruments to measure um, pollutants in the air. And in that sense, um, we didn't have a program built for us. And for what it was previously, it was enough. Um, but as I mentioned, the frequency of data um, that comes to us is increasing. And so um, the analysis time that it takes um, for us to be able to process that data becomes longer and longer. And so the, the previous program, um, took about 30 minutes um, for one analysis. And so that was kind of long. <laughs> and so I decided to rewrite um, the program in the Wolfram language and um, have a GUI for the um, program to be able to share that within the lab. And so until now, they, uh, even if I left the lab already, they still use that to be able to process the data that the lab um, generates. I think for someone uh, who doesn't know what the Wolfram language is, I'll say that this is a tool uh, that allows you to think in many ways on how to approach your data or how to um, analyze your data um, in a way that is closer to how you would um, normally think about it in your head, <laughs> if, if that makes sense. To me, um, it's not just a tool, but it's also a way of thinking. 